Hey guys, today we're going to learn a very famous recipe known as bengan bhartha. Bengan is an eggplant which is cooked on the stove top and inside will be very soft and well cooked. Outside the skin will have the nice burnt texture. It can be cooked on the stove top or on the grill or it can also be cooked in an oven which is more convenient according to me. If you don't have oven in your home, you can always cook it on the stove top because that is the traditional method. So to make this recipe you need 1 medium eggplant, 7 to 8 cloves of garlic, 1 inch of ginger, 1 medium onion, 1 big size tomato, 4 to 5 finely chopped green chilies, half cup of finely chopped coriander leaves, 1 tablespoon of coriander powder, Half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half tablespoon of red chili powder, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of cumin powder, half teaspoon of garam masala powder, three to four tablespoons of oil, and salt. Usually, I cook my eggplant in my oven, so I'm going to follow the same method today. So my oven is already preheated to 350 degree Fahrenheit. So first, I'm going to give some slits to my eggplant. Basically, this helps the eggplant to cook evenly inside. and also helps the steam to escape after that i'm going to add in my garlic cloves with the skin on and the skin will prevent my garlic from getting burnt now i'm going to brush my eggplant and garlic with a little bit of oil i'm using the regular canola oil here now this goes into the oven for 45 minutes or until it is nice and soft after 45 minutes my eggplant looks like this It is well cooked from inside. Now separate the garlic from its skin and keep it aside. My eggplant is still very hot, so carefully with the help of a knife and fork, I'm going to separate the skin and pulp. So here in a bowl I have all the cooked pulp from my eggplant. Now using a fork I will mash this well. Now that my bengan is ready, let's make the bhartha. Into a pan, I'm adding about 3 tablespoons of oil and once the oil is heated, we'll add my cumin seeds and we'll let them sizzle. And to this, I'm also adding my finely chopped green chilies. Adding the green chilies directly to the hot oil helps to reduce the spiciness from them. Now, I will simply grate in my ginger and we'll stir it for a few seconds and then I will add my finely chopped onions. Now we'll cook these onions for a couple of minutes for them to become nice and tender. Now in goes my finely chopped tomatoes and to this I will add a little of salt for my tomatoes to cook faster. Mixing it well and we'll cook my tomatoes till they're nice and mushy. Cooking with closed lid will also help them to cook faster. Now my tomatoes are nicely cooked. So to this I will add all my powdered spices such as turmeric powder. garam masala powder cumin powder coriander powder and red chili powder we'll give it a good mix and we'll let the spices cook for a minute before adding my eggplant after about a minute adding my cooked eggplant and we'll mix it in until the pulp and the masalas are incorporated well Now to this I will add very little water maybe about 1/4 cup not too much because basically this is going to be a thick gravy which goes well with some hot chapatis Now this has come to boil and to this I will add in my finely chopped coriander leaves and will mix it in well Now my bengan bhartha is ready to be served So transferring this to a bowl and we'll garnish it with few coriander leaves This recipe is everyone's favorite at my home. If it is your favorite too, make this recipe and please do share your feedback because I love to hear what you're coming up with. To get the written recipe, please visit my website at www.megascookingchannel.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel to learn such recipes every week. And you can follow me on social media for more recipe updates. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.